I got to tell you, man, this is bull****. And I didn't get any sleep last night. Oh, 23 out of 24 of Billy Joel top 40 hits. And now we'll bury him and embarrass him in front of everybody. Oh, this. I can feel the anxiety building up in me. <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> have you uh, have you seen any of the other videos? I've seen them all. Which uh, which one was your favorite? <laughs> My favorite was Dennis's because he was like, oh fuck this, this is <laughs> bullshit. I got a problem with this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he had a good time by the end, and that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> You are best known for playing with Billy Joel. How many years did you play with him? 30. 30 years, that's pretty insane. Let me introduce somebody who's been in the band longer than anybody. Because you had to be a big shot, did you? On the drums, that's Liberty DeVito. What would you say, of all the music out there, what have you never played, or what kind of music terrifies you? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you're gonna show me now, that's terrifying me. <laughs> you, you, you fucking terrify me right now. Oh, I love it. So we're gonna give you a song. We're gonna take the drums out. Okay. But you can do whatever you want. The floor is yours. I can, I can leave. <laughs> you, you can leave if you want. <laughs> they will make you do it from home. There'll be millions of people watching. Yeah, thank home. you. Thank You're welcome. You. <laughs> All right. Here is the song. Take it away. I take it you've never heard that before. Never, never, and I never want to hear it again. <laughs> <laughs> there was only one part that I got lost in, in the where the bass solo is. So, what types of things are you are you taking note of? Like, is that just like a form chart you're making, or I'm uh, I'm excited to hear this. Yeah, I'm glad you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you were in the studio with Billy Joel, yeah, when you guys were writing, was it very collaborative, or were you often like? making charts yourself, uh, figuring out the arrangements, or were you part of the whole process where you guys were coming up with that? Part of the whole process. Okay. But uh, the whole thing, yeah. I'd get less than I just got from yeah. you, <laughs> from Billy. Yeah, all right, well, uh, you wanna try this from the top and see what happens? Yeah, sure. Cool. studio with Billy like how many takes did you often get were you guys in there for a full day or a full week just kind of doing things or was it like one take and done oh don't forget we, we're building the song he, he just has the basics of a song we have to build it figure out what parts we're playing yeah and then if it went more than seven takes we, we stopped and went home <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> On the first take, like, 
you were trying a bunch of stuff. I love the tom thing you did in the verse. Yeah. Kind of cool to bring it way down. In that part, yeah. The bass part, yeah. Yeah. Anything else you've, you've noticed? I noticed you started to do the some of those shots in the chorus. Yeah. The guitar is so distorted that it's like, yeah. <laughs> you're thinking doing it, but I don't know if it is, but. Yeah. You want to try this again? Yeah, sure. Cool. Shit. <laughs> How does that take for you? How'd it feel? I feel good. What do you think? So I'd love to do one more. Okay. Uh, one more. It's <laughs> awesome. How was all of that for you? I, I assume you've never played anything like that. Uh, no. Actually, <laughs> only with uh, Phil X. Phil X. Okay. His song was kind of like that. And you guys met at the Hired Gun Hired, filming. Yes, the Hired Gun thing. He said, uh, wow, this old guy plays like a 17-year-old. <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> So you've never heard the band. 
The song is called My Own Summer. The band is Deftones. Don't know them. Perfect. That means uh, Drumeo strikes again. <sighs> and uh, the drummer's name is Abe Cunningham. Abe Cunningham. Okay, I'll remember. We'll we'll play a bit of the song from the beginning uh, with the original drums in there. Okay. And so you can hear what it sounds like. Okay. That's fucking great. It's pretty good, right? He's definitely a Bonham fan. I mean, there's a lot of uh, like, boom, bah, boom, like Bonham would play it like that. And he's definitely playing for a recording. Yeah, I, I know like live, you would open that up for sure. Yeah, I'm but, showing off. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's great. And I, I love too on that recording, like the sound of the hi-hat, like it almost sounds yeah. like he's got two bells together or something. Very cool. Okay, so I played that one. I should have slept last night. I was a little more nervous and I didn't get any sleep last night because I thought these guys are gonna like bury me with a song, you know? Oh, 23 out of 24 of Billy Joel top 40 hits and now we'll bury him and embarrass him in front of everybody. Abe, I gotta tell you, man, you played great on the record. I don't know if I did you justice, but I hope you're happy with it. Thank you. 